Hello, fourth graders. It's me, your teacher. I am like a cool water on a hot day. That's a simile. I am as smiley as sunshine. That's a simile. Let's talk again about similes. I have up here some quick, easy similes to take a look at. We know that similes are used to make writing and stories more interesting. And similes always have the words like or as. This page, I am only using the word as, but similes are always going to use the word like or as to compare two different things, two different people, a person to a thing, a thing to a person, an event or a story, but we're always going to know that it's a simile when it's comparing two things and when it uses the word like or as. Now be careful. Just because you say, I like ice cream, that's not a simile. That's a verb, right? We're just telling something I like. It's an action. I like ice cream. So it's not a simile. So be careful. Don't always think that like or as is a simile. You have to read the whole sentence. You have to look at the context. Context is such a big fourth grade concept to understand and to look at all the context. Now, let's practice some similes together. Starting with, I am as quick as a, think about something that's quick. Say it out loud. Did you think of something? Here's what I thought of. Quick as a, did you see how quick that blink was? Quick as a blink. That's my simile. I am as quick as a blink. But you know what? I'm not very fast right now. I'm not very quick. I broke my leg. I move slowly. I'm moving a little bit faster. How about slow as a snail? That's a common one. Slow as molasses. Do you know what molasses is? It is a very thick liquid that is a little sweet and it's used, it's made out of sugar and it's used to um, bake and cook, like you mix molasses with white sugar to make brown sugar. And that kind of has that deep bridge, but it is thick. And if you try to pour it out, it is slow. So that's a good simile to use. Slow as molasses, small as, what's something that's really small? How about something that makes this noise? <laughs> Got it, do you know what it is? Small as a mouse. Look at us using all these similes. Large as a, let's rhyme it with mouse. Lar small as a mouse, large as a house. I am not as large as a house. I'm also not as small as a mouse. Sad as a, this one I had trouble with. I was trying to think of something that is always sad. I guess teardrops mean you're sad. So maybe I could say sad as tears. Happy as, there's an idiom that's a simile, a common saying, happy as a clam. Well, I didn't know clams were happy, but I know that a sunny day makes me feel happy. So I'm gonna say I am as happy as a sunny day. Look at all this practice we're doing with similes. Nice as, what something is nice? Nice as, you could do sunny day again. Nice as a teacher, teachers tend to be nice. Now, I am as nice as a teacher. I am mean as a, ooh, mean. What could we do for mean? How about a mama bear? Like, you know, you have to avoid the baby bears because the mama bear will come after you and be so mean. That's a good one. Mean as a mama bear. All right, we did a lot of work here, demonstrating and practicing similes. For your assignment today, you are going to have to type a few simile sentences into a text entry. I'm gonna scroll this list up. I'm gonna erase what I've got. And I'm gonna ask you in the directions to choose four of these choices. I'm gonna erase mine. 
I would like you to choose four of these similes to make your own. So I'm gonna have you choose four. These are sentence starters. And I want you to type them in a text entry and describe something. It doesn't have to be I am as, it could be my mom is as gentle as blank, or my cat is as shy as blank. I'd like you to do four in the text entry to show that you know how to create and write a simile. I'm also gonna ask you in another assignment to be sure that you're using at least one simile in your writing of your fairy tale. So keep that in mind as you move ahead today. Great work, fourth graders.